Hello! Hi everyone! Welcome back to this channel. I hope you had a great week and a great weekend. Um, today I wanted to make a video about one of the readathons I wanted to follow this month, in September. And it's the Adventures Through Wonderland readathon. So this would be the readathon map. I will put all the links in the description box below. There, there are seven challenges in total two that are not book challenges or reading challenges and one of them is to join the live show and the other one is to make yourself a reading snack the other five challenges were proper book challenges i followed all five of them with four different books so for the first challenge which was to read a book set in another world. I chose a book from my parents' um, bookshelf and it was The Wired Sisters, written by Terry Pratchett and published in 1988. This book is part of the Discworld series. It's the book number six I have I I haven't read any of the other books. I just thought this one could be interesting and I think you don't need to read the other ones to understand this book. Um the main thing I liked about this book was the main message that I I thought this book portrayed which was the fact that words are words shape reality because you understand reality through words. So if you change the words you use to describe reality, reality itself can change. I grouped the prompt number two and prompt number five, which are to read an aesthetically pleasing book and read a book you think you love. I chose the same book for them. So for this challenge, I chose a book that I thought I would definitely love and it has a beautiful cover and Girl, Woman, Other written by Bernardine Evaristo. I love this book, I think it's the best book I read this year so far. It follows um, 12 women and they are separated into four chapters. Each chapter follows three different stories or storylines with uh, three different women. They are more connected um, to each other than with the other women from this book, but um, all 12 of them are intertwined, which is something I really loved reading. Um, I think the topics that are discussed throughout Girl, Woman, Other are very important, are very interesting and it was very good to read about them and the overall sense or feeling I got from this book was to not judge people when I see them, when I meet them even if I think I know them there is always going to be something I don't the, uh, the third challenge was to make a cozy reading snack so so for this challenge, um, I made my favorite reading snack, which is just tea. <laughs> I, I use this cup, which is from my great grandmother, and I think it's very cute. <laughs> so yeah, I just made some warm tea, warm tea. and um, because it's a snack, I wanted to eat something as well. And so I chose to eat it. Eat uh, with this tea some fruit. I don't think they're. It's very seasonal fruit, but that's what we had at home. So yeah, it was yummy. Challenge number four or prompt number four was to pick a book for a cozy night in. So. I was debating what which book to choose and I wanted to read a middle grade book so I, I chose Gangster Granny um, written by David Williams 
with the beautiful illustrations by Tony Ross. So this was a heartwarming book, very, very nice, very cozy. It follows this young boy and his adventures with his grandmother, who, as you can imagine, is a gangster. And I just thought it was very, very nice. Especially halfway through, you will learn about something that makes the rest of the book just very heartwarming and an interesting read. So, for the last book related challenge, the sixth prompt, it was to choose a strange and mysterious book, and I chose another middle grade book, which is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, it was very short, which I was surprised surprised by, and I I had the feeling that it was just very, just very absurd, and I don't know, I didn't like it as much as I liked the movie, for example. So I don't know. I think it's 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 good to read it because it's a classic, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Which was a pity, I think, but yeah, read it if you if you want to. So this would be it. These were the four books that I I read for this readathon, and I will see you in the next video.